The background of our company is we use all panel trucks. So all old vintage styles from the 30s all the way up to the late 70s. Um, but yeah, basically we just uh, find these old rigs in, uh, on Craigslist and, and fix them up. Our, our first truck, we did all the body work in our driveway. It took us about like a month. Drilled some holes in it, built a draft system, and away we went. We're not technically a franchise. We do uh, licensing agreements, so um, we allow people to use our label. Um, we'll build them a truck if they need someone to build them a truck. Uh, we'll build their website, uh, and then we consult them um, and basically give them all of our knowledge that we've gained through the years, uh, the kind of the do's and don'ts that we've uh, figured out, and um, you know, we help them be successful. Alrighty, so this is my system. I got a 20 pound tank of uh, CO2 right here and I got a, my primary regulator that sends gas all the way to my secondary. So this lets me control the PSI for each keg I have. Um, and then I tap it with this. Uh, this is a standard coupler. I'll attach it here and then I'll attach it to my jockey box. And that's what keeps uh, the beer cold. So it'll run from the keg through the jockey box, which I don't have here, but uh, Attached to one side, attached to the other. A jockey box is a, is a cooler um, that has, mine has 120 feet of aluminum coil. It goes down and comes back up and it sends it out the jockey box. And I surround that with ice. So as uh, warm beer from the keg is flowing through the jockey box, it comes out this end and this line's insulated. And it goes out the truck and out of the faucet. So that's pretty much the system. It's easy, straightforward, and uh, it does the trick.